Peggy 16. Hi, I'm CCP Commander Wayne. I am the community manager for DAS 514. I'm here outside of our Shanghai office where the majority of our development team is located. I'm also here to introduce you to our lead vehicle designer, CCP Blam, who is going to take you on an insider's look at vehicles right now in a closed beta. My name is Ryan Thornton. I'm a game designer at Dust514, otherwise known as CCP Blam. When I'm working on vehicles, I'm dealing with vehicle handling, vehicle fitting, and the gameplay that surrounds vehicles. So Dust514 is a game of planetary warfare. Vehicles play a very vital role in the game. You can call a vehicle on demand onto the battlefield as the battle unfolds. These vehicles are yours. You called them in with your money, your blood, your resources. And they're fitted out with your customizations and your weaponry. So there's actually uh, three main classes of vehicles in Dust 514. You've got the LAVs, which are light attack vehicles. These are one of the first things you run into as a, as a player. They're, they're highly maneuverable. They get you from point A to point B fairly quickly with a relatively large amount of agility. The second class of vehicle is the HAV, it's a heavy attack vehicle. And they're much like tanks. They take a lot of damage and they also deal quite a large amount of damage as well. They're good at uh, penetrating heavily guarded areas on the map, but they still kind of require uh, support from infantry and other units as well on the battlefield. The last class of vehicle in Dust is the dropship. And dropships are a bit like modern day choppers. They're uh, highly maneuverable as well. They get you across the map fairly easily if you're, if you're delivering troops or perhaps you might want to fit out your dropship with extra weaponry to lay down fire from an aerial perspective. Each of these vehicle classes also have their own racial variants. If you look at the Galante, they specialize in more uh, blaster technology, they're a bit more focused on armor protection, and they're a bit more mobile, a bit more agile. Uh, if you look at the Kaldari, they have a bit of a focus on shield technology, and their, their area of specialization is rail weaponry. The great thing about Dust 5 and 4 is that we're never really finished making it. It's an online-only free-to-play game for the PlayStation 3. We're able to continually add new expansions, new content, and new features. Part of this is getting feedback from our players to figure out what ways can we support them, what other things do they need that we can give them to enhance their experience. So we're looking at adding other things like new vehicle variants, new vehicle classes, as well as even mechs in the future. 